This is a side-by-side -side review of the Bedrock Can Pros and the Bedrock Can Pro 3D sandals. Straight away, the older version and the newer version are different simply because they have these attachments on the nylon webbing at the back which are similar or the same as the ones on the front. Now I do know because I do have uh, the upgraded version to the Cairn Pros is this has been changed on the newer version. So looking more closely at the the Cairn 3D Pros, you can see this raised profile here. You've got three points going along the front of the footbed. And you've also got a lifted point here as well for a little bit of arch support. Looking closely, you can also pick out on the Cairn 3D Pro version, they've got like this bubbling effect throughout the footbed, which straight out the box, I think is quite nice. And I definitely think it's more, should we say friendlier on the foot than the Cairn Pro version of this sandal. If you can just see kind of a diamond effect on those Cam Pros. They're definitely a lot more abrasive out the box. Obviously they're made to last and they do. It takes quite a while to get through that abrasion. Those straight away feel more, more comfortable. Noticeable differences of course between the Cairn Sandals and the 3D version are the width, depth, should I say, of the actual footbed. These are quite minimalistic, or a flex to them, and I quite like that. But what I have noticed is when I'm going across concrete or road or asphalt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more, well, a little bit more. And I'm hoping that these will give me that little bit more. In regards to the tread, the tread is exactly the same depth as other versions of this sandal, just where I can see from my eye. Webbing wise, exactly the same. Um, the logo is the same as the Cairn Pro version. The newer updated version, the old version, of course, have this little symbol there, which is not going to make any difference to your hiking and trekking, really, is it? But these little uh, tweaks all add up. Looking closely at the actual points here on the sandal, that's slightly different than the Pro version. I'm sure all these things are upgrades and they do them for a reason through lots of trials and tests and of course obviously the newer version doesn't have any plug that you can see there the older version to these sandals well at least the cam pro version does have a plug point why they've got rid of those i have no idea again all these little tweaks are for a reason but in general they haven't changed all that much. And obviously you don't when something works and these definitely work and they work very well. They look very minimalistic and people do see you with them on and think, why or the hell are you trekking through mountains with those? Because they don't offer any support. But myself personally, they offer a great deal. Um, Obviously anyone that's worn 
the bedrock sandals nose by putting your foot in you can't go forward with them because this area here holds you in this front area so you can't go forward on the sandal this point here is not like on a normal i guess in australia where i am now they call it a thong flip-flop in the uk uh and who knows what they caught in in america um, i'm assuming it's the same thing but yeah they don't they don't sort of people would think they would sort of rub or as you're going downhill they would when your feet are in between them hit the inside of your toe but actually your foot hits this part way before it ever comes anywhere close to this. So that's not a concern at all. It holds it in pretty well. It's, it's, it's such an ingenious design, really, because it's so minimalistic and it holds you in so well. And I've mentioned this on previous video that I've done with a side-by-side -side review of the old version of the Bedrock Cam Pros and the new version. But what I've also, I'm going to mention it again now because I think it's it's absolutely fantastic, is these points here at the side. Now, they're competitive that, well, I won't name, but what I have noticed is that's not a fixed point and there's movement in there. And when there's movement, the whole thing moves, like you move in the footbed, and I don't like that. I much prefer it to be a solid piece, which these guys have. And to be fair, there's not a lot that can go wrong with them. The only thing that I've had go wrong with mine, and this is, you know, as mentioned, doing quite a few thousand kilometers on the Camino to Santiago, is this point here on the old version, and I believe they beefed them up on the newer version, there's a piece of alloy there that holds those together and that broke but apparently they beefed them up for the updated version of the pro sandals and yeah nothing a bit of a paracord couldn't fix and that's the great thing about these there's not a lot can go wrong with them and if it does the only points that go wrong where i've encountered is that and a bit of paracord through there fixes that straight away. Or to be safe, you could probably just order a couple of spare parts if one goes on you, which to be fair, yeah, you probably never ever happen. You could uh, you could just utilize that. I mean, I was doing things with these that you probably shouldn't be doing. And um, I was walking on the Camino with a 65 liter pack with a tent and uh, all kinds of stuff in there. And yeah, obviously push, I'm, I'm quite a heavy guy. So I was pushing these pretty hard and yeah, eventually something had to give. So hopefully that's shed, shed some light onto the differences between the Cairn Pro Sandals and the Cairn 3D. So that's it. That's a side-by-side -side review of the Cairn Bedrock 3D Pro Sandals and the Bedrock Cairn Pro Sandals from Bedrock.